the morning. I have myself a little breakfast, banana that's not ripe enough, some yogurt that I'm almost sick of, and this is the fourth serving, so you know I'm sick of this. So, good news this week, starting the week off with good news ish. You know, how I was talking about my car. I'm pretty sure that somebody stole my catalytic converter. Now, somebody tried to steal it a while ago, but they didn't get it, but I think they got it. So, I'm going to the mechanic today to get my coolant flush. That is in hopes that it fix the heat in my vehicle. Now, I don't know nothing about mechanics, but I mean cars, but the mechanic told me the coolant has something to do with the heat. I don't know. Also, if my catalytic converter was stolen, I gotta get a new one. But the internet said it costs like $1,500 to $300, I think that's what they said. But I'm so smart, I have full coverage or you know insurance. So I have a $500 deductible, which is pretty high, but a catalytic converter is more than $500. I just put $400 into my car last week. Why not put another 500 into it, you know? Whatever. The fact that it's like not gonna bankrupt me, <laughs> it's good. So I'm gonna eat, drive my busted ass car over to the mechanic, leave it there, probably get a lift back, and then probably have to get a lift to work. Fingers crossed that this week is like every other week. I only work one night a week. Um, I think the last two Mondays I've gotten off early too, which has been crazy. Usually Monday is like the late night. So yeah, fingers crossed. Hi. So I'm back from the mechanic and good news, bad news. There's no bad news. Good news is that the catalytic converter is still there, but he said something about the exhaust something. So I think he said it's like $300. I don't know how much it costs. It don't matter how much it costs. I have to get it. Like I have to have a car to go to school. I have to have a car to get you know, these temp hygiene shifts that I plan on doing right after I graduate. And I have to have a car to make money. You know, like you have to make, in, like whatever, you get it. And then yeah, the coolant double flush, I think that's 140. And then I told them if the coolant double flush doesn't fix the heat, then whatever it takes to get the heat working, let's do that too. So, cause I was like, you know, I'm gonna have two more winters of, you know, cold. Winter 2023, first year of dental hygiene school and winter of 2024 when I will be in entering my second year of dental hygiene school. And then I was like, well, wait a minute, <laughs> you don't have to. Cause let me explain. I, it's not like my intention to have a car where the air doesn't work and the heat doesn't work. Let me, allow me to explain, okay? So my air didn't work and I took it to the shop and they put, I don't know, antifreeze or something in it. I mean, not antifreeze, I don't know. <laughs> they put something in it and then they're like, great. And then it worked, but then like it stopped working. And so I took it back and then they were like, Hmm, that's weird we don't see a leak but there's no more of the stuff we put in it so we're gonna put it in again so they put it in again and then you know it started working and then it happened again i took it back and then they were like yeah we don't know what the hell's going on we're just gonna give you all your money back and you should go to the dealership and i was like well <laughs> no because like no i was like you know thank you for the money but i was like i'm not going to the dealership because if y'all can't fix it uh the dealership is not going to be a better experience it's going to be more expensive more of a headache more time like it's just going to be worse so it's like i'll deal with it i live in minneapolis there it's fine like it's literally fine if that happened i don't know a couple years ago now the heat, the heat stopped working and then I got it. Now this is where I definitely made some odd choices. But see, the shop that I used to go to, they wouldn't give me a quote on how much it would cost. They were like, we don't get quotes over the phone, but it's like, mm, you know how much you pay your people per hour. You know how much a heating element would cost for the vehicle. Like I'm telling you what needs to be replaced because I already know. So, or you know, maybe I'm wrong, right? But if I'm asking you, I want you to do this to this car you could tell me how much it costs. You know how much it costs to get the part. You could find out and you could find out how much you pay your people. You just don't want to give estimates, which is like, that's fine. So I'm just not going to ever go to your shop again, right? Because I'm not interested in not knowing, like I have no idea what the bill is going to be because if, if the bill for fixing the heat is $600, you can keep it. Like you don't need to do it. But the bill is 350, like it might be different, right? So long story short, if that's even possible, I have tried to fix these issues, but I'm trying again. So I'm taking the, wait, I don't think I mentioned, <laughs> I think I forgot the most important part about how I got the heat fixed. I got like a mobile mechanic off like Craigslist, which when I'm even saying it, it's so embarrassing. Like, why would you do that girl? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? But it did work. That's the thing. Oh, I forgot to mention it worked. It worked for like a long time. Um, it was actually cool. The guy was like really nice. He was um, hard of hearing and we were like doing our best to communicate. I hope that, I hope that the coolant flush fixes it and I'll be like, this guy was the best, man. This guy was awesome. 
but if it doesn't then i would probably be singing a different tune but i got two vaccines my flu vaccine and my covid vaccine and um both my arms because they put one in each arm both my arms hurt so bad like just doing this oh like my muscles hurt oh and then i kind of feel like icky you know kind of like the i think sometimes people get like a little bit of a sickness not really after getting vaccine just you know a little bit and i think i have that like i don't feel great i'm going like hot and cold and stuff and had a little bit of a just weird feeling so i'm gonna take today and i have nothing to do my videos my video is done, my video schedule, my my homework is done. So we should work on instrumentation. I really need to do some cooking. Um, and as far as getting to work tonight, I'm gonna hopefully, fingers crossed, yesterday was a great day. I was able to get an e an EV, the electric car, and I was able to go like run some errands. If I can get an EV to go to work, that would be great. If not, I'll just have to take a lift, which is like horrible because the cost is so much. And like, if you take one there, you gotta take one home. Oh my god, what if I ever get stuck? No, there's lift in Maple Grove, right? It's not like the boonies. There's gonna be a lift out there, right? Monday at like 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh my god, I'm starting to get worried. It's fine. If there's no lift, we'll make it work. I'll figure something out. I'll call a fucking taxi. I don't know. I'll get an app or something. <sighs> I'm very happy that the catalytic converter's there, but I do need to get a catalytic converter uh anti-theft thing because we don't want no problems honey we got two years with this car we don't want no 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 problems i'll chat with y'all later you guys i remember while i'm why i don't feel great also because i didn't get a good night's sleep because today we registered for our classes for next semester and i full disclosure i made a schedule for what my ideal like four four years four semesters two years would be like way before I even got accepted into the dental hygiene program, before I even got the letter in what March. So I've known what classes I wanted to take for a long time. So I was making sure that I got up early enough to register. So I had all my stuff on my wish list. Everything was set up. Long story short, I got all the classes I want. Everything's perfect. I'm so excited, but I think I'm gonna have to go take a nap <laughs> because I was like, first of all, I just kept waking up. Four o'clock I was up and then seven, like 15 I was up and my alarm was set for 7.55 because registration was at eight. So I was like up all night. That's what's wrong. Oh, hello. Update, I'm in an EV and I haven't gotten a call about my car, but they close like at seven o'clock, which is kind of cool. I love the extended hours. I'm so thankful this EV was here. There was actually like a lot around. I mean, I have been having the worst luck. <laughs> my car was, you know, out the first time. Yeah, I'm at this stoplight right now and you can't turn right on red. So um, today I felt like absolute shit. I think because of the vaccines, I took um, a, like a nap I feel a ton better and I took some ibuprofen. But like I was feeling so bad. I feel way better now. Going to work. Hopefully I get off early. Bye. Hi. <sighs> Back home from work. Not a long day, but just about <laughs> just about what you would expect for a Monday. I spent the full day there. I didn't get to go home early. What's on the agenda for tonight? I need to wash my work clothes. I need to fucking cross wave. It's so dirty. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Cross wave is tomorrow. Also, I hope to um, do some cooking tomorrow because Thursday I need to take a lunch to campus and every Thursday after. But it's so funny because pretty soon we're not going to be only on campus on, or I'm not going to only need a lunch on Thursday because I registered for my classes today. So I'm going to need a lunch on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So three days a week. Friday is just one class radiology from 10 to 12, which is amazing. And then Monday is no classes. So we have four days on campus. So I need to start, <laughs> I need to start thinking of four lunch options a week. See, the only thing that I'm like hesitant on is meal prepping fish. Now, it's not like we eat in a lunchroom. It's not like we eat together, but I just kind of feel like it's in a, and, it, and I also don't use a microwave. I use, um, I don't know if I showed you guys, but um, it's like this thing that it's like a holdover from the flight attendant world. There's this thing called a hot logic. Long story short, it's like a little heating pad in like a canvas bag that's lined with like silver fabric and the heating pad heats up stuff. So you can put like a, you know, your food on there in the bag, zip it up and then it heats your food up. So I got one of those and it works great. And I guess you can't smell it, but I just don't want to like, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't worry about it. Just a way for me to procrastinate because I haven't cooked a damn thing. Oh, and then in the morning I have my cleaning with our second year. So our second year cleans our teeth in the spring semester, or sorry, in the fall semester. 
Now, the way I understand it is in the spring semester, we're gonna start with patients and our second semester, our mentor is gonna be one of our patients. And then obviously, if you're thinking it through, when we get to next fall semester, so one year from now, I'm gonna be cleaning a first year's teeth, right? So yeah, it's eight o'clock um, and I got a call Oh, I have so much to update with. <laughs> so crazy. I got a call while I was at work saying my car is fixed, the heat works, and I don't really know what he said with the exhaust, but the catalytic converter wasn't stolen. He did say that there was the like heater motor, blower motor was making a really loud sound, which I knew, but look, I didn't even have heat for a couple years. So if I can turn it, I think it only does that at like four, three and four, like the, the higher speeds. So if I can just use it at one or two, and it actually is heat. I mean, bitch, I'm calling to win because he said it's gonna be 300 extra, extra dollars. And I think this is already uh, 400 bucks. So this is like 700 bucks, no, 800 bucks that I spent on my car this <laughs> week. It's so crazy. And then I just got this Eevee to work. Let's see how much I paid for that Eevee. <laughs> I spent $44.35 to go to work tonight. But I do think that I, I think I might have made more. I think I definitely did make more than $44 because I think I get paid like, I don't really know how much I get paid an hour, but it's like more than $20. Maybe it's like 23 or 25. And I worked uh, three hours, so I did come out ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna talk to the mechanic. Did I mention he was like flirting so hard, like so hard? And I was like, you know what I'm here for, baby? If that bill is gonna be a little bit cheaper or if you're gonna put my, my car first or you're gonna give me better service, then let's go, baby. I will flirt, 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 flirt. And I was dressed <laughs> just like, almost just like this. I had a hoodie on, I had a freaking hat that I, I had this knit hat on that I made <laughs> and then I had uh, sweatpants. <laughs> I was like bumming it in the morning. Hi. Wow. So usually on a Tuesday at one o'clock, I have not done as much as I've done today. So let's just break it down. Got up this morning about seven because I had my cleaning with my second year. More on that later. More on that later. I was thinking I was going to take a lift. The bus wasn't an option because it took it takes an hour and a half and i know i said like the bus goes straight to school and i mean if i was like you know using the bus because my car didn't work then i would you know i would be out the door at 6 30 to be somewhere at eight o'clock like it wouldn't it wouldn't be a problem but um i was like i'm not taking the bus to this cleaning i got up with the intention of getting a lift but there was an ev nearby so i got an ev <sighs> so i spent like um almost 100 bucks on evs in the past two days when my car was in the shop that's right, was in the shop. So we have updates, we have updates. I was late to my cleaning, five minutes late. I don't know that it mattered because, let's get long story short for real, um, I didn't actually get my teeth cleaned today. I got like the probing done. I got just like an extra oral, intra oral exam. I got all that stuff done, but we didn't have time for a cleaning. At 9-11, that's when she started in my mouth. Wait, 9-11? Oh yeah, because again, we had like medical stuff to do from like 8.05 or whatever, 8.10, let's call it 8.10. It's fine though. In a way, I see why the appointments take so long, but in a way, I feel like there was a ton of wasted time. Like, not to be judgmental, because I can never do what she did today. Like, I couldn't do it. I'm not, I couldn't. Me today, couldn't do it. But I feel like when it comes to like some computer stuff, there was like tons of areas like that I, solve like we were wasting so much time you know not with yeah so not with dental hygiene stuff but with computer stuff and a lot of it is internet stuff on the computer that we did today right so if you can kind of speed that up not saying we would have got my teeth clean today but like there you know I, I what i'm trying to say is like i think a lot of people talk about like um when you go get your teeth clean at a hygiene school or when you're cleaning teeth as a student it's like it takes a long time it's like yeah okay well are you taking a long time or <laughs> right because Maybe you're taking a long time, which is fine, right? We're learning. And again, I could not do what was done to me today. Even even the computer stuff, I would get all that wrong. So like, I'm not trying to say I'm like better than anybody. I'm just saying like, I guess I'm just trying to say like, being able to see a student makes me think like, okay, when I get out there, let's make sure that I'm using my time efficiently, you know, in this area. Let me make sure that I am, you know, doing these things just cause it's like one less thing to worry about. Then I went and got my car and it was like 50 bucks cheaper than I thought, which is great, and it's better. When I got my car out of the shop, I guess last week, <laughs> the other shop, I was like, what the hell? Like the car is not better. Like I took it into the shop and it's, it's not better. 
This time it's definitely better. Like when you start it, it's, it's like quiet, silent, which is crazy. The heat works. Like I didn't even have the heat on. I just had like, um, you know, it was off. But now I remember, even if you have the heat off, a little bit will come through. I forgot. I didn't look at the coolant because I don't know where the coolant is, but I'm sure that it's not like chunky anymore. So like the acceleration is not great. Like, and something is wrong. Something is definitely still wrong with the car. <laughs> don't get me wrong but it doesn't sound bad. And I was just really like, a, really embarrassed. It's re it was really embarrassing to have my car sound like that. Like I live here, like I can't, I can't, like what are you talking about? It's not so bad when I'm like, you know, down the road, but like I live here. It doesn't really accelerate the way I think it should. And it kind of like jukes and stuff, but maybe we gonna make it work. Tomorrow is the first day of class. And we got an email from our professor for oral and facial anatomy saying that I guess she must've got a lot of questions about meeting with her one-on-one -on -one about the exam. I emailed her like pretty much immediately after I finished that test. And um, I didn't really get into the question because I was like, hello, you just finished the test four seconds ago. She didn't even look at the test. So just give her a minute. You know, I just let her know, hey, I would like to talk to you. When can we meet? Would it be better in person or Zoom? Blah, 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 blah. So what she said is that she's gonna meet with students like one-on-one -on -one at the front of the classroom. And then you can schedule something later if you need like more time than that. But Zoom is not great because uh, she doesn't have her voice back. She was sick yesterday. Look, so my grade, let's talk, let me talk about the exam really quick. There were, I wanna say like seven writing questions. And then there were like three or four questions that I like felt like I answered correctly and should get the point. So if I had gotten all 10 of those points, I think that I would be getting a decent grade and I would be happy and I wouldn't need to speak with her. But if not, like that's what I'm gonna be like, uh, what's going on? This isn't tomorrow though, that's on Thursday on campus. I feel like that tonight is not gonna be a lucky day for me as far as work. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be going, which is like, oh, and I wanted to show you these. I bought these little things on Amazon. They're like for your car. Well, they're like for, <laughs> they're for, um, like instead of a flare, you put this like on the, road and it you know so if like your car breaks down <laughs> you can put this on the ground and then somebody won't run over you and you won't die now there's three of them okay now it said that it required three double a three triple a batteries so i thought three of them three triple a batteries perfect no what they meant was three batteries per which it's not what they said if i do go to work i'll probably stop by walmart tonight after work as long as i'm not there super late and just buy the batteries because like there's really no point in having these and not having the batteries because then you're just that's very stupid because the way my luck works my car will break down you know today if i pass by that walmart and don't buy the battery then because i think i said i wasn't comfortable on the highway i got on the highway today with my car fixed and it was okay but there was a really long entrance ramp i don't know if i have anything else to say if i do i'll come back here's what i'll do if you see for me again tonight then you know i didn't go to work if you don't see me tonight then i went to work and i'll see you tomorrow <sighs> allow me to explain <laughs> i was going to Here's what I, here's the problem, okay? I went to work. Hello, by the way. I went to work last night. Oh, Lord, my braids is coming out, y'all. I went to work last night, and I said, like, if you don't hear from me, it's because I went to work. I took the camera thinking, I'm going to vlog anyway. I'm going to do this, do that. And I left it in my car overnight. So when I woke up this morning saying, okay, I went to work. I'm going to film before school. The camera was in the car. This is Minnesota. It's only October, but, like, it's not, like, freezing yet, but... Like it's cold, you know? Ate something in the morning, I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not going out there. Sorry, y'all. By the way, so I have like, at a time I'm recording this, I think I have 71 subscribers, which thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I only know like six people who are subscribed. Like, and none of them are my family. They're only my friends. Like, I don't know who these, I don't know who you guys are, but like, thank you. This is so great. And is there something that you want me to film or show you or that I shouldn't film? Like, let me know. Cause like you guys really show up and watch my videos. I hopefully by the time this comes out, I'll have a hundred, but like, I don't really get a lot of comments saying like what you like or don't like. And I'm not doing this just for my health. <laughs> I'm really not. Like I am kind of doing this so that people will get value out of it. Like, I'm not doing this cause like I love, you know, doing this. Cause I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Number one, I don't love doing things that I don't know what I'm doing. Tell me. What's bad, what's good. What you're never gonna do is hurt my feelings by anything you say, um, because just cause you say it don't make it true. So let me know what you think. And if I think it's valuable, maybe I'll take it on board. <sighs> that sounded harsher than I wanted to, but you get what I'm saying. Update on today, we just finished preclinic theory. And you know, I like online classes, I do. What I don't like is being put in a breakout room and being told to complete a worksheet. I don't need a partner to complete a worksheet, okay? 
let me show you the worksheet we were asked to complete in a group, a group of two. It's like, Whoa, what are we doing? I don't need help with this. And all it does is like stress me out because I feel like I'm not moving fast enough for the other person. Like I'm not, you know, doing my part, but it's like, I don't <laughs> make it stop. Okay. So we're just doing like, what type of, oh Jesus. Oh God, this iPad child. Okay, how do you make this go away? I think you do this. It says like, identify the phone laws. Babes, I'm gonna have to be honest with you. I don't need a partner. <laughs> we don't need a group for this. I, I don't need a group. And then it's like, what is the next one? Okay, define and tell like, again, babes, don't need a group for that. I don't need a group for that. I don't. I think it's, imp I think this is like helpful. I'm not saying the work itself makes no sense. I think this is smart, but I don't need to be in a group to do this. <sighs> sorry about that rant. Not really, I'm not sorry, but it was a little unexpected. All that to say, being that we had like 20 minutes, 25 minutes of being in a group doing that, I didn't like it. Like I don't, it stresses me out, bottom line. And then I got an email saying we're not meeting for our anatomy class, which is interesting. She says she's sick and she doesn't have a voice. So what are you gonna do? Whatever. I was gonna say like, I understand what's going on, but I sure did think I understood what was going on last time right before I went into that test. And I don't think they're graded, so no update there. Hi, we are done with class. Wednesday and Thursday are the two days that I have anatomy. Uh, yesterday, no class. Instructor was absent. Today, instructor was also absent. Uh, we had like substitute instructors. Apparently the instructor asked, could we like reschedule the lab? And then like the clinic lead was like, no, we can't do that. We were supposed to discuss the test, the exam today, not just me, like everybody was supposed to discuss that with her today. She usually is really good about updating us like via email if something's going on. What is going on with my shirt? Ooh, hold on. Why is it like that? Oh, I see. Okay. I'm gonna wait. I know damn well I cannot get the fucking acceleration. I'm hoping I don't have to go to work tonight. That would be great. hi so i'm thankful as hell that the week is over the you know school week fingers crossed the work week is over i am not i don't have huge hope for it but i'm holding out hope i think this is one of the first weeks where i had off in the middle of the week and then i went like back to work after that like usually the way it works is like if i'm off on a tuesday i'm off Wednesday, thursday friday i think it was wednesday that I had off, then Thursday I went back. I don't know, it's fine. I have had short days when I've been at work, which is great. I've been able to leave just kind of early. So, you know, even if I do go, fingers crossed, I'll leave early at the very least. I'm looking right now, I'm seeing these index cards I bought. These are like huge. I, they're a five by five by eight. And like, I, I know what five inches and <laughs> eight inches is, but I didn't notice they were gonna be so big. And then I bought these self-laminating sheet from Timu, by the way. Timu, if you want to sponsor me, <laughs> if you want to sponsor me this tiny channel, let me know because I'm on Timu all the time. Like it would be an organic sponsorship. Anyway, I bought these cards. I wish they were blank, but Walmart didn't have blank ones. And I'm going to like make a little cheat sheet of things that I want to like keep with me in lab, not lab, in clinic because you can, you know, I can wipe it down because you like infection control, you know? So yeah, work has been good. 
school's good besides not having a teacher for anatomy for two days but oh shoot this is great news um we got our grade for our second exam and i i did way better i did not get an f i got a d i think um i think i might i think if i got one more question wrong i would have got an f <laughs> you know full disclosure i think i don't care to look but um no but seriously i did way better i think i got like 12 more points which like you're never going to be able to convince me that improving 12 points from one exam to the next is not good. Prior to that, I just know that I have to keep that up. I have to improve again on the third exam. And then of course, as it always has been, I have to remember all these concepts are on a cumulative exam. And then we're not even gonna, we're not even gonna think about board exams. We're just gonna, we're not gonna think about that. But like we have a board exam too. Tangent, I'm just gonna do a board exam review, like a course or whatever. I'm gonna pay for something because no, I'm not going to just try to like, no, that's like going into a test without a study guide. Why would you do that? Or that's like your teacher telling you, yeah, just study everything that we study. Back to what I was saying about work. It was really nice to have off Wednesday because, <laughs> uh, okay. I live like a really random life. I was doing like a, not a focus group, but like a taste test. <laughs> I was taste testing like brownie. Now you might be like, what are you talking about? So. This is back to my childhood, okay? It's so funny how things that happen in childhood like stick with you. The school that I talked about in my, probably my first video, or maybe not my first video, but one of my first videos, I'll link it up above, whether it's here or there. Um, but that school, I started going there when I was 10 years old. And one time, or actually more than once, we had like people come to school and they brought like, I think they were like chips, like maybe like Doritos. They didn't say Doritos, but they, they basically brought snack food and they had a student do like a taste test and give our opinions on it. They did that multiple times. I don't know if anybody remembers it, but me, <laughs> I don't want to ask my friends high school and stuff. That's weird. But, um, so we did a taste test and I was like, that's really cool. <laughs> you like taste, you know, like, I don't know, taste it. They're fun and they pay you. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> in real life, they pay you. So, um, they didn't pay us in when I was like in elementary school. But in real life, they pay. You. I was looking at my dashboard for like the company. I've made a couple thousand dollars from doing taste tests since I moved here. This one was over brownies. It was like a two day taste test. Each day was like um, 75 minutes and we got a hundred bucks after two days. So I don't know how much your time is worth, but you can definitely have, you know, feed me some brownies and pay me a hundred dollars after, you know, however much 75 times two is. We can do that for sure. I was so happy that the second day I didn't have to go to work. <sighs> so this weekend, editing a video, I need to clean floors. I feel like the floors are always dirty. I got some new, new scent of the Crossway solution, which is nice. I think I have some of the old stuff left, but I'm like, maybe I'll use the new stuff. Cause the old stuff kind of like is on my nerves. Does anybody else like that? Like if you use the same scent over and over, you can like it at the beginning, but then it's like, uh, -uh this is, this has to stop, you know? We had a couple students out this week because they are sick. One guy has COVID, the guy who's like right next to me. Hopefully everybody's okay. And we had some people taking like their evaluations today and some of them are really stressed out. It was kind of, not kind of, it was really sad. Cause like, you know, seeing somebody get so unsure of themselves when, you know, we can do this, we can. I really believe that we can do it. So seeing somebody be so unsure of themselves, it's like, oh, we can do it. I got some more goodies. Uh, apparently the rep who gave the toothbrush that I mentioned tons of videos ago, gave us this toothpaste but it's funny because we were learning about um the ada like seal of approval let me show you hold on okay so the ada is the american dental association and apparently if it, the toothpaste like if they've accepted a product part of the like requirement is that the box has to have the ada thing i don't think it's going to come up but it has to have that on it i'm not really like sure <laughs> what they're approving or what they're accepting it off of but this one doesn't have it and like if it was accepted, it would have to be on here. So it's not accepted. So I don't even know if I want to use it. And also, 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 well, we got this toothbrush for our typodont. So when we start seeing patients, we can demonstrate on the typodont, like, you know, what we're saying. But you know what? I have to be honest with you. The electric toothbrush, I can't do it. It rattles my brain. I don't like ugh, the feeling of the vibration in my mouth for two minutes. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I really can't do it. The water flosser that we got, I don't even think I talked about that. I'll have to, or I did talk about it, but 
I don't know how deeply I talked about it, but the water faucet, I like that. I can use it in the shower and um, yeah, that I can do. That's no problem at all. But the vibrating toothbrush, I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. And maybe, you know, I can't be the only dental hygienist that doesn't use an electric toothbrush, so it'll be fine. So one thing that I have to get done today, um, I have like another hour and a half to do it, is a quiz for our pre-clinic theory class, like our classroom time. It was supposed to be open and due like Monday, but our instructor still had it hidden, so we couldn't do it. She just opened it a uh, Wednesday and I completely forgot about it until she like verbally said in class, remember you have that quiz that's due and I've extended it till three. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to cook something. I'm very hungry, very, very hungry. This weekend it's gonna be editing. It's gonna be working on my homework for next week because I felt really good to have it done, you know, like early. Um, and I'm gonna make sure that I get started on my learning objectives because this will be the second one that we've gotten. And I have not like really filled one out. And if I don't, before we know it, it's gonna be exam time and I'm gonna have to fill them all out. So we wanna avoid that because I'm trying to make like little gradual changes. You know what I mean? Like as I'm seeing my grade, I wanna make gradual changes, do things differently to hopefully get different results. And you know, making the study guides got me 12 more points. So maybe making the study guides earlier. And oh, I'm thinking about looking at Quizlet. Um, our instructor posted two of them, like for us. Like if the instructor posted them, I trust them. My thing about Quizlet is I don't trust people. Like, I don't know if you know what you're talking about, to be honest with you. And you can make your study cards for you however you want. That has nothing to do with me. But, you know, you might make your study cards and you might not check them and you put them on Quizlet and then I look at them and then I'm learning wrong and then I'm pissing you forever. So we don't want that to happen. Since the instructor posted the, the Quizlets, I'm like, okay, so she's vetted them. She has verified that everything in these Quizlets is correct. So I have no problem, you know, doing those. And um, a couple of my classmates have shown me some Quizlet so I was like okay cool you know I'm willing to try I'm was anti-Quizlet but I'm willing to be open right I'm trying to get these grades up 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 you only have to have like a, I guess you only have to have like a 75 <laughs> to pass and I think I was like I'm not gonna be passing with no 75 oh baby you might be passing with a 75 yes you may anatomy and that'll be just fine this is getting so long-winded I have to get this quiz done wow rude I was like literally talking and my camera just shut off to my storage full. I was like, how is the storage full? This is the only video I recorded today. And I deleted everything off the phone. Yeah, here's me not being an Apple person. I guess you have to delete it. Then you have to go into the deleted box and then delete it again. Like, why? You don't trust me? I already said delete it. Android doesn't do that. If you delete it, it's gone. Very annoying. So I don't even know what I was saying. I'll see y'all later. Hi YouTube, welcome back to my life. Let me just say, I am in a fantastic mood. Literally no complaints. I wanna start, I think I already said I'm starting, but I wanna start again <laughs> by saying that the thing that's making me the most happy is that my heat works in my car. Um, it's just so, I mean, maybe you can imagine <laughs> what a game changer it is to live in Minnesota and be going into the winter where your heat works after it has not worked for like the past year or two. Like, I just feel so thankful. Like, my car is going through a lot and it has gone through a lot. And, you know, even if it dies today, I will be so thankful that I've had like a week of heat. Like, you see my coat, it's not on my body because it doesn't have to be. Like, my hands are not like freaking cold. Like, I just, I just feel so thankful. Right now I'm headed to the mall of America. Today is a lucky day because I always get lost in the Mall of America, but I'm going to Fabletics trying to see if they have scrubs in store because I want to exchange. Basically their sizing is kind of weird. They got, if they don't have what I need in store, I'm going to double check, but they haven't had it online. I'm just going to return it because like they're not that good enough. Like it's a cute idea and if they fit, they're cute, but like I can't get the fit right. Like I, I ordered basically the, I think it's called the on-call joggers and not only are they fitting weird around like the knee and calf area like they're kind of like tight but also baggy it's like very strange and you can even see it on the model on the website but even that, that they're just too big and i got an xl so i got a large but i did change i got the high rise on call jogger so like the same pant but in high rise and the large is like no like they fit like but it's i mean not they they fit they don't fit they go on my body like they're on my body but they don't fit they're like too tight like it's especially coming in the winter 
like I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna start wearing leggings underneath my scrubs I'm trying to see if they oh this fell we love that too I was gonna do this on Friday but then I didn't want to and I've been pretty much in the house the whole weekend I left yesterday like late kind of late like after 10 for a quick run out but other than that i've been in the house all weekend wait did i even just say where i'm at right now i just left another taste test which is crazy because they normally restrict you from doing one uh i think they restrict you for like 60 days or i don't really know the time period i just go on the website if there's one on there i'll try for it if there's not then i know that i'm not eligible but they they said like here take this screener and then they were like okay but we don't have no time for you so it's like, okay cool but then last night they sent an email to like, we really need you. Like we have two times available. Let us know if you either of these work and we will fit you in. So then I did that, they fit me in. So I've made $145 from taste tests this week. This morning I tasted coffee. It was like, um, ooh, is there a Starbucks? Oh, there is a Starbucks around here. I'm going to Starbucks. Cause I got, um, we were tasting pumpkin pie, like plant-based creamer. Oh, 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 I was like, damn, I need a pumpkin pie. Like drink pumpkin pie spice drink like right now oh there's no fried thing at this starbucks is there oh i'm not getting out of my car you're crazy is there a starbucks over there i don't believe there is hold on i'm over here just getting distracted then i'm gonna is there even a starbucks over there anymore but anyway um maybe i'll go get one in the mall if i still want one it's a very long drive like 45 minutes because i can't really take the highway so it's all back roads for me and I'm pretty sure taking all these back roads is running, or maybe even just, yeah, it, it, like not just taking the back roads, but like the problems that I'm having with my exhaust, it's like running my gas out. So this taste test money is gonna go right into my fucking thirsty ass SUV that, you know, craves gas and literally is just gotta, you know how when you are, um, you can get like weight loss surgery so that they shrink your stomach. It's like when my car went to the shop, it got the opposite of that. <laughs> it, it got a, it got an increase. Like it needs more to be full. Cause like when you get your, when you get that surgery, I think it takes like, you don't need as much food to feel full, but this car needs more, 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 more. I'm excited for today. I did a lot of my homework yesterday. Well, I say a lot. I did the self-guided study, which usually ends up being the most like time consuming part. I think this week it was the least. There was literally a question on the self-guided study that was the exact same question as the one from last week. And it was a pretty, it was like the most time consuming question. So I was like, great. The time, the thing that was gonna take me the most time, it's a repeat, we love. I'll have to do a worksheet for preclinic theory. I have a quiz for preclinic theory and a quiz for anatomy over the same thing I did my self-guided study over. So other than that, I need to edit tomorrow's YouTube video. I don't see that being a problem. Big Brother's late tonight, of course. Recap is late. And the way it's been going ever since Big Brother changed their schedule, it's that I'm very, 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 very tired after either the recap or the show itself. I think last week I didn't even make it to the recap. <laughs> I was like, I can't do it. I'm tired. It is so crazy. Like tell this to 20 year old me that Hey, bitch, in 15 years, you're not even gonna be able to stay up late. Like, there's gonna be nights you want to, but you just can't stay up. <laughs> like, and you, like, you will have done nothing, but your body, you're like, you're tired. It's so strange. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my drive, and I'll talk to you guys later. Well, hello. Welcome to my cell phone again. I don't know where my camera, my iPhone is. I think it might be in my car, which is crazy because I already left it in my car like earlier last week. And I can't believe I did it again. I don't think it's in there, but I'm like in the middle of something. I'm trying to finish editing my video and I don't have time to look for it. But I wanted to say that I completely forgot until like 30 minutes ago that season two of the Gilded Age premieres tonight in about an hour. So I'm gonna try to bang out this YouTube video for tomorrow in this next hour. Apparently it's gonna come on HBO Max like at the same time. I freaking love season one of the Gilded Age. I've seen the whole season at least twice, maybe three or four times. I was right in the middle of a rewatch right now. I think that the season has nine episodes and I was starting episode eight, but I didn't get a chance to finish. So I watched the 
and I know I watched the whole thing, you know, when it came out, one more time, and I don't know if this was like the third time or the fourth time, but like I'm obsessed, like obsessed. So I cannot wait for this show. And so if it was, you know, another nine weeks, that's amazing because Big Brother's ending like this week or next week. So this is gonna like <laughs> give me like, you know, almost two months of like TV after Big Brother to look forward to. It's still a big change. Like Big Brother's three times a week. This is one time a week. And also I don't have like basically five hours of, no, seven hours of daily coverage a week. Let's just, you know, average it out. And then three more hours of podcasts. So like 10 hours of supplemental visual podcasts to watch afterwards. So that'll be, what am I gonna do with myself? <laughs> Anyway, I gotta finish the YouTube video because Big Brother does come on tonight. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who edited the video in one hour. Really? Really? That's how much I've gotten done. Is that even like a quarter? Bitch, I don't know. I'm sure it has numbers on there. Five minutes out of a 25. Girl, I've only done a fifth of it. Oh! So, but I have to stop for the Gilded Age. Like, I have to stop. If they're gonna show me this at eight o'clock, same time as people with TVs? <laughs> you don't understand. You really don't understand. I'm this show. And you know what? I saw some, I, I Googled the Gilded Age because I was trying to figure out how I could watch it. And I saw somebody, it was on Slate.com. I don't know who it was. Someone was talking about the Gilded Age is amazingly awful or something. You know what? And they talking about they was amazingly, awfully enthralled or something. You know what? You like the show. Just say you like it. You could just say, you could just like it. You could just be a, a, a TV critic and like it. That's okay. Is even if it has Christine Moransky in it, even if it has Miranda from Sex and the City, Charlotte, or not Charlotte, uh, what's her name? I forgot, Miranda the Redhead. It's because it has, you know, Meryl Streep's daughter in it who hopefully, 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 Lord Jesus, hopefully she took some acting lessons in between these seasons, honey. So anyway, if you're not watching The Gilded Age, I would actually recommend you get on that um, because it's really good. And if you do love The Gilded Age, let me know in the comments because I need to find my people. I need to find my people. But yes, Gilded Age, Big Brother. I might skip the recap podcast tonight and do more of this video because I'm trying to get it done. Bye. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Can we see that? Eight o'clock. There's only season one. What's going on? <laughs> only season one. I'm going to wait for like three more minutes and then I'm just going to finish editing. I'm so mad. A few moments later. Oh my God, guys. Look, 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 look. Season two. I was just... I was just about to, I, the game is me. I was just about to go finish the editing. <gasps> One hour.